Hey everyone, this is Billy Break here. Welcome back and glad to have you join us for another in-depth look into our latest core booster set. That's right, Age of Overlord. It's a new age and I can't wait for y'all to learn about brand new themes, strategies, and of course, a few surprises that will help you unlock the potential of these cards. Without further delay, here it is, Age of Overlord. One of my favorite early booster sets was Pharaonic Guardian, which was full of cards with an Egyptian motif to them. Guardian Sphinx was my favorite of the bunch at the time. This year, Duel has been asking me at events when we're going to release more cards with an Egyptian motif to them. I've just had to hold my tongue about it until now. The new Horus theme is all about finding and defending the King's Sarcophagus. While you control the sarcophagus, your new Horus monsters are effectively immortal and can drag enemy monsters down to the underworld. It also lets you assemble all four Horus monsters in an instant, as long as you have enough cards in hand to trade for them. It's a risky strategy, since losing the sarcophagus can lose you the duel, but the benefits of succeeding are massive. You can even try combining these cards with some of the older Horus monsters too. You may not have realized it, but a brand new storyline kicked off in Duelist Nexus with this card, Sinful Spoils of Subversion Snake Eye. It's not just some mysterious item or artifact. Take a close look at these monsters. That's right, it looks like each of these monsters has a Snake Eye at its core, doesn't it? This is Snake Eye's Flamberish Dragon, the boss monster of the new Snake Eye theme. It wields the same type of power as the spell card from Duelist Nexus, transforming monsters on the field, and in this case the graveyard, into continuous spell cards. In Age of Overlord, you'll also meet Diabellstar the Black Witch, a new character who seems to be seeking out the sinful spoils, and attracting the wrong kind of attention while she's at it. Please consider letting Diabellstar hide out in your deck for a while while this all blows over, okay? In Duelist Nexus, the Crimson Dragon finally appeared, and with it the Yusei-inspired Cosmic Quasar Dragon. In Age of Overlord, you'll find cards inspired by Antinomi, the duelist who revealed the secrets of Axel Synchro Summoning to Yusei. Age of Overlord will also help you maximize your own Axel Synchro Summoning potential, with new cards that help you gather your TG monsters and summon TG Synchro Tuner and Synchro Non-Tuner monsters more efficiently. Between Duelist Nexus, Structure Deck the Crimson King, and Age of Overlord, it's a great time to be a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. A hauntingly beautiful lifeform Tistina has awoken, and it's on the move. While the original Tistina from Duelist Nexus forces your opponent's monsters to bow down to it, and then wipes out their face-up cards, this new version erases all of your opponent's face-down cards, and then magnifies its own attack points. You'll find seven new Tistina cards in all in Age of Overlord. Age of Overlord is bursting with awesome new cards. You'll find new cards to help you summon Supreme King Zark and further evolve its powers a new Vizos monster, and a Monadium Synchro monster. You'll find Watt cards, Armored Exceed, Labyrinth, Vanquish Soul, powerful free agent cards you can use in nearly any strategy, and more. Quarter Century Secret Rares also return in this set. As was the case in Duelist Nexus, the 14 Ultra Rares and 10 Secret Rares are also available as Quarter Century Secret Rares. You'll also be able to get the second version of Magicians of Bonds and Unity. Age of Overlord is poised to make a big impact on your duels when it hits shelves at the end of the month. You can get your hands on some cards in advance of the release, though, by playing in an Age of Overlord premiere event at your local OTS. Are you excited to begin a new age? I hope this exciting look into Age of Overlord has built up that anticipation for all of you. All of that awaits in Age of Overlord and will be coming to stores everywhere later this month but you can get your hands on the cards early during our premiere weekend on October 14th and 15th at your local OTS. Keep an eye out later this week for more theme and strategy videos from some of your favorite content creators. That's right, and also the search will continue for quarter century secret rares as we close out the week with content creators opening up some packs of Asia Overlord to see what they uncover. Thanks for watching and don't forget, it's time to duel.